Hello, welcome back to the Oki Smoking Channel. My name is John, and today I have some wings that we're going to be cooking on the pit barrel. Now, I'm going to make some sweet, spicy uh, barbecue sauce style on about half of these, and the other half we're just going to season. Now, we're going to season them all, though, uh, and then cook them for a little while, and then we'll go ahead and put, uh, take them out, add some of the spicy barbecue sauce I mixed together. I'll show you that later and then uh, cook them a little longer and we're going to have some wings. So uh, the first thing I want to do here is go ahead and place these wings in this bowl. Got about two and a half pounds here. Then the first thing I want to do is I just want to add a little olive oil. Kind of get that mixed in there, spin it around. Then I'm going to add some SPG right here. All this is is a salt, pepper, garlic, cumin, a little paprika, and onion powder. I make it myself. It's cheaper. Um, maybe I'll have a video on that later. I'm just going to sprinkle this all on here. Give it some good flavor. Then I'll help it out a little bit by mixing this up. Try to get it moved all over real nice. I've had the fire going for a little while and I've been preheating and we're just going to go ahead and place these right on this grate. Oh yeah, hear that nice sizzle? Kind of want to try to get them, if i got enough room to keep them from touching one another, that'll be great. We'll see. I think I probably can. I'm going to cook it like that. So I'm going to cook it with just one bar in. Uh, here in Oklahoma, the elevation is about 1,200 uh, and I want it to get a little hotter on this cook than on most. And if you're in an area where the elevation is higher, you may not need any bars and you may need both of them in. You can experiment, but this has worked well. Uh, so we're just going to let these cook for about 30 minutes. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, open it up and we're going to do uh, the next step of this by getting that barbecue sauce on it. So I went ahead and looked at these. It's been 30 minutes and flipped them over a little bit. They don't need much more. They're pretty much done. Take a look. Looking real good. I also added this second bar just to reduce some of the heat because it was getting a little over hot in here and wanted to shut that down. Uh, they're above 165 degrees right now. Uh, what I want to do is about half of these is I'm going to go ahead and put in this sauce that I have. All it is, is I've got some sweet honey barbecue sauce and some original red hot, equal amounts in here. So it's about two thirds cup each. And um, I just stirred it up and we're gonna go ahead and dip some of these. You could brush it on or whatever. We're gonna dip it, throw them on here just a few minutes and eat. fires go on. Look at there. We're just going to go dip, dip, just like that. Place it right back on. Dip. Just like that, I've got half of them with the sauce. The other half I've left alone. I'm actually going to take those off here in a minute. So the great thing about this is you can cook them ever how you want. Use whatever sauce you want. Uh, using the red hot and the sweet honey is a great combination. I've used it before um, and they're looking great. I'm going to go ahead and take the ones without the uh, sauce on or off and I'm going to let them cook just about five minutes just to caramelize. Might even, I would say if you have a low fire, you might want to do this or remove the rods. It's hot enough. I'm just going to let it do its thing right like this. Uh, they got done a little sooner than I expected. 
and that fire was raging hot. Um, might have should have put both of these in. So experiment, do what you want. Um, both of these in would have been fine. Uh, they might have overcooked just a little bit, but not that much. And uh, we're gonna see how they taste. They're gonna be great. So my wife is on a low carb diet. Uh, so that's why she don't want any sauce on here. Uh, so these are great just with salt and pepper or that little SPG uh, that I made up with a little garlic, a little paprika, all that up in there. It's been a couple minutes. You can see these are starting to caramelize real nice. Might flip them one time. So all I'm waiting on now is just to, you don't want to burn the sauce, you don't want to burn the wings, is just let that caramelize just a couple more minutes. I'm going to pull them off and we're going to do a taste on these. And if you do enjoy outdoor cooking, which you apparently do because you're on this video, be sure and subscribe. I cook on the pit barrel, I cook on the Blackstone. Uh, pit barrel may be my favorite and today is a fabulous day. It's like springtime weather here in, uh, in January first day of January. Happy New Year. If you're watching this on the New Year, let's go ahead and pull these off now. I think they should be good. Wow, look at that. Pile them up real nice. Make a nice presentation. Look at that. I can smell the uh, <clears throat> the honey sauce, the barbecue sauce, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and dig in. It's very hot. It's got that, that hint of spice from that Frank's Red Hot. I really like that. It's got that honey flavor. Just pick out your favorite barbecue sauce honey. Throw you some Red Hot Frank's in it or even your favorite hot sauce. It's all about you and you can make this how you want ever how you like it. If you don't want it spicy, don't add it. Um, cook them on here. Add some salt and pepper or that SPG, a little bit of everything, and cook them about a half hour, dip them, put them back on. The fire got a little hotter than I anticipated. Probably could have cooked them only about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, um, but still, ain't nothing wrong with these, let me tell you. Hmm. No, 30 minutes might have been right. Man, that's really good. That one might have been better than the first really good. I don't know why I like that one. That was amazing. All I did was charcoal, no smoke wood on this. Mm. My name is John. This is the Okie Smoking Channel. All backyard cooking. Be sure and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.